us to do the okay now after having the suggestion from the certain uh, that deva the kumara kasapa we did a statement went to the buddha and he said the same story venerable sir i was doing meditation i tried my best yes i know i had the difficulties so when i was doing meditation a certain deva came to me and said this 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 to me so i want to know what is the meaning so the whole story whatever happened he reported to the buddha then buddha started to the giving the correct understanding correct meaning behind these all words and of course in the commentary it says this kumara uh, kasapa in the especially the payasa sutta the diga nikaya it says venerable kumara kasapa was such a a uh, wonderful dhamma preacher who can preach dhamma giving a lots of simile giving a lots of examples so there was actually uh, a kind of debates not the debates we can say dhamma discussion between uh, another ascetic from the other traditions and the venerable kumara kasapa that ascetic realized his points are wrong still he was not agree because he wanted to know more similarly about the things or he wanted to know more or learn more about the similarities from the kumara kasapa but in order to learn this method from the kumara kasapa that uh, ascetic ascetic from the other tradition he did not show uh, he he did not claim that he lost he always Uh, was a kind of opposite an opposite holding the opposite idea difference idea from the kumara kasapa so when he holding difference idea then kumara kasapa was giving more example more things so that is how he learn a lot so this is one of the things that we can see in the commentary okay and there is a uh, he was actually even the kumara kasapa was very uh, very well known monk who was able to give the dhamma talk using such kind of simile so you see this is why this is her pers- his personality this is his characteristic that is why actually even devata choose such kind of method to give him to contact to you know to contact the liberation i mean to contact or to meet the right path so sometimes uh, when we practice the buddhism or when we do the meditations right methods or appropriate methods according to our character big matter now those who study the visuddhi magga you will see i mean you are if you study that section you will see that there is a six kind of characteristics of a person and a person should take a meditation object according to his personality for example there are some people who are very angry so head the head is his character for him we can suggest i mean visuddhi magga suggest to do the meditation metta loving kindness the person who is greedy who lustful for him i mean this feel greedy for him uh, you know the uh, there's a meditation method about the impermanence or thinking about or giving the uh, charity or sharing things with others so such kind of things so what i want to say is here the methods are very important and it should be match or it should be according to the person's uh, characteristics or personality okay yeah so here in this sutta we see venerable uh, kumara kasapa was his personality was to know more about the simile using the simile talking with the simile describing the simile so this is why actually said that devata choose this method okay okay so now let us see what is the unhealed means actually so here unhealed means says this is the term and this is the terms for the, our body which are uh, made up of the four element that is patavi apo tejo vayu pata means 
hardness, watery, heat, and motions. So this is what actually in our body. Subject to impermanence. Okay, it is uh, subject to impermanence and it will be decay one day. So this is the nature. Now you should know that then actually we are not talking here anything about anyone. Now, now when I when we discuss about this, you have to come to your body. So who what is unhealed? Unheal is nothing but your own body. When I'm talking, this is my unhealed. This five, this body, the made up the five elements, uh, four elements, okay, produced by the father and mothers, and do the and build up from the uh, the food that I have eaten. Okay, so this is the body. This is the unhealed. So know that this is the unhealed, and we should know this body is subject to be impermanence. That means this is this will decay. So know that. Okay. And the next point is, what is this fuming and flaming? Now you know there is a people who are thinking the whole night what they are going to do tomorrow. So it says thinking, considering the whole night about what you did, what you will do tomorrow. This is called a fuming and flaming. And what you have thought, you will act next day, mentally, physically, verbally. So you see what he means, life is busy, right? Life is pushing and rushing. It's just going, you know, one after chasing. So this is the character. So you see, that means this unhealed. We have to think like this. This unhealed. This means your body. That means yourself. That means I am. You are. I am what made of four elements produced by my father and mothers built up with the food. And this body is subject to decay. And then you can say, I am always thinking what I did, what I will do. That is life. You see always. Okay. Yeah. Then what is the next? So now you know this body is on your body. Subject is its impermanence. You are thinking a lot about this and that. And then you have to know something here. So Brahma and sage and sword and digging means what? Brahma is a term for the realized one. That means the Buddha who can show the path to us, path to us to attain Nibbana or to be, from, uh, to be free from this suffering. And the sage or Sumedha means the trainer, the person who is walking to this path, like you and I, we are the sage. We are the person who looking for or who trying to free from this suffering, right? So we are the sage, we are the seeker, we are the learners. So sword is the noble wisdom. And digi means our personal effort, energy. So you see, this unhealed is made of four elements, is subject to impermanence. It's always thinking what have done, what should be done. There is no ends. So it's like a kind of suffering. We are in the suffering. So in order to overcome this suffering, in order to this kind of suffering, you have to do something. That is what you have to find out the person that can guide you. That is not no one. It's Buddha, the Brahma. So you see, Brahma said to the sage, sage, dig. Dig means what? It means take the sword. That means use your wisdom. I mean, use your knowledge, understanding, theoretical understanding, whatever we hear or study, and practice it. 
and dig it, that means practice it. So now Buddha have already given the path to, for us to overcome this. That is, Buddha said, what the Buddha said actually, Buddha said, Buddha can show the path, we have to walk through it, right? So now here see, so Brahma is a Buddha, Buddha telling, I mean the Buddha taught us, use your the uh, wisdom, knowledge, okay, knowledge to overcome this suffering, to suffering. What, what is the suffering? Remember, this body is suffering. This body means I am suffering. So if I want to overcome this suffering, what I have to do is, what I have to do is practice. Practice. Okay. So we have to practice and or we have to eliminate some things. What we have to eliminate? What we have to, uh, or how we overcome this suffering? By eliminating of something. So though, what are those some things? We will see here. 